Hi, this is another creation from the Pure Lever Stop team. Enjoy. Hey guys, Joel here. Now the last two blogs, we talked about one thing and the question was, and the reason why I'm doing so many other blogs uh, centered around it is because I'm getting amazing feedback. But the question was, oh my God, I have leads coming into my lead capture system. What do I do now? So the answer was, um, go back to the other blogs and watch them in more detail, but is to send them a personal email. And then people said, well, okay, well, what do I say in that personal email? And the gist of it is to stay very, very positive. Never use the words, I can't, I won't, I don't know how, right? Because those people are new as well, and they're looking for leadership. Uh, so you want to remain very, very positive. So I wanted to shoot a blog today on people say, well, how do you stay positive? You know, people, it's easy for you, Joel. You've uh, accomplished a lot of the goals that you set for yourself in life. And so it's easy for you to maintain a positive attitude. And I have to say that nothing could be further from the truth. As our company grows, being brutally honest with you guys, uh, I've got more and more stresses in my life. But it's how you deal with those stresses uh, that keep you growing and moving forward. In other words, when I had 400 clients, my life was a lot easier now that we have 393,000 clients, right? So uh, that's not true. Uh, just plain and simple, it's not true. But this is how you maintain a positive attitude. And I'm actually going to just grab some paper here. If I can find a piece that's blank, and of course now I can't. Here we go. Here's a blank piece of paper. So here's how you maintain a positive attitude. Most people who are entrepreneurial or ambitious in nature are always comparing themselves to an ideal, something that they want to achieve, right? And then there's reality, okay? Now here's what you got to understand. And, you know, all entrepreneurs or people who are ambitious in nature who want more for themselves and their family suffer from this. Now sadly, folks, it's the People who are the valedictorians, the people who are the uber achievers in life, statistically, those are the ones that commit suicide. And, you know, we say to ourselves, God, how could celebrities become addicted to drugs? You know, how, how, do, how, how come so many rock stars become addicted to drugs? Because it's not the pressure that's really there. It's the pressure that they put upon themselves that caused them to do that, right? So in other words, you know, uh, as an example, they've got to do a concert, they're feeling a little tired, so they might take some caffeine or some sort of other upper uh, to make them feel that they're performing at their best. Then of course, uh, because they're up, then they need to come down. I'm not gonna talk about drug addiction, but the point is, people who are uber achievers have a massive amount of pressure on themselves because they're always trying to reach that ideal. So here's the ideal here. So I'm gonna write that down, uh, the ideal, okay? And I'm going to show you that after. And then from the ideal is reality. Here's the problem with this, folks. Ideal versus reality is as your true ideal increases, or sorry, as your reality increases, so do your new ideals, okay? So once you reach one goal in reality, then your ideals become higher and higher and higher. So what really happens, folks, is you have something in between reality and your ideals as an entrepreneur called a gap. Now, I, I can't take uh, credit for this. I learned this from Dan Kennedy, and it, it really changed my business, okay? Once you recognize that there's always a gap, okay? The gap will always be there because as you achieve some of your goals in reality, well, your ideal increases, increases, increases. So that gap never, ever, ever goes away. And that's why a lot of people don't take action. What do they say? Oh, it, you know, if this only worked out for me, I could do this. If I could only take action on this, then I'd do this. Why? Again, they're comparing it to an ideal that is, the ideal is just a figment of your imagination, okay? It's your reality. And again, as you achieve a goal, your reality increases. But what happens is your dreams or your ideals become higher and higher and higher. I suffer it from myself. I look at people like Mark Zuckerberg or Steve Jobs and go, damn it, what am I doing wrong? You know, here I've been online since 1998. 
this little Mark Zuckerberg kid comes along in 2004 and just becomes an uber rock star, right? So here's what you, this is how you become a more positive person. And I write this down. Don't compare your reality with your ideal. Compare your reality with your past. I'll say that again. Compare your reality not with your ideal because that's a gap that you'll never achieve. Compare your reality with your past. Why? Hey, I made children in my life. My children are healthy. That's something that I've accomplished. I went from being homeless to having a small home. I went from being a teenager to a very productive adult in society. When, see the problem is when you're chasing that ideal, you're always chasing happiness. When you come from a, a state of self-doubt, because that ideal always creates that self-doubt, you never take action. When you become, when you compare it with your past, okay, you realize, wow, I have accomplished a lot. You know, for myself as an example, you know, my goal initially was to pay my $400 a month mortgage. Now, we do as much as $150,000 a day. Now, whoop, some of you go, whoa, $150,000 a day. I'll never get to that, you know. Well, hey, I can say the same thing and go, you know, good old uh, Facebook or Apple does $10 million a day. And I go, whoa, I'll never get to that. You see what I'm talking about is the ideal never changes. And here's the thing. This is the truth. I've always been a very happy, positive person. Okay, I am no happier than I was 10 years ago. Let me say that again. Yes, the financial freedom is awesome and it takes some of the stress away, but I've always been a happy person. When you're a happy person and you can become very happy with yourself by comparing yourself with your past, not with your ideals. When you're a happy person, so again, how do you do that? Wake up in the morning, and be thankful that you woke up. How many thousands of people will go to bed tonight and never wake up tomorrow? How many thousands of people will wake up tomorrow to find out that they've been diagnosed with a terminally Ill, terminally Ill cancer? How many people will wake up tomorrow and realize that they can't have children? How many people will wake up tomorrow and be completely homeless? That's where you come from an inner group of gratitude when you're feeling happy about where you are, it creates positive actions in your life. So if you go back and watch the last two blogs, okay, on what you need to say to your leads, well, it was really centered around being positive. So I wanted to shoot this blog on how to stay very positive, okay? This is very, very important. Realize that you're becoming inactive or you're not taking a lot of action because you're comparing it to an ideal that always grows and you will never achieve. When you come to realize that and compare it with your past, man, folks, it changes your life. It really changes your life a lot. Recognize that there's that gap. Recognize that you have a gap because you're an uber entrepreneur and you want a lot more for your family. So that's it for today, folks. If you want me to cover other things, post them here on the blog. I love shooting this stuff for you. Stay positive, stay realistic, Treat GVO and Pure Leverage like a real business, okay? You couldn't walk into a restaurant uh, and walk away tomorrow. In fact, it would cost you a half million dollars. You know, the nice thing about the internet, you can start a business for very cheap, but it's, there is a learning curve. Have your backup plan and move forward. So anyway, folks, have an awesome day, and we'll talk to you again very, very soon. Bye for now. Great information. Now it's time for you to take action. Click the link below. Leave your name and email and start earning 100% commissions.